In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, I'm Father Moses McPherson. I'm based in Texas. I'm an Eastern Orthodox priest. I want to share a little reflection today on uh, the dilemma of fraternity, brotherhood in American culture. I saw this video the other day, and it was a series of clips that men were describing their dilemma of not having anyone to share uh, their feelings with, their emotional state with. And of course, you know, there's a natural dynamic that men don't share, you know, the depths of their kind of soul or burden with a woman because then that changes the dynamic. She's kind of forced into a role of being more of a mother to him. But men desperately need other men in order to unload on, to be vulnerable with, to not be judged, and to be encouraged and uplifted. And we don't really seem to have anything in our culture like that. There's there's no activities that men are based around. And there's kind of that facet. And then the facet of we don't think that men should be vulnerable with each other. But I don't even think that that's the case. What I really think is the case is that men are, are not on the same wavelength with each other. They don't have a brotherhood. They don't have anything that bonds them. And what do I mean when I say brotherhood? My relation to, to my family is, is not a brotherhood. My relationship to my wife and kids is that I would die for them. But a brotherhood? A brotherhood is men to my right and left who I will die with. That's what a brotherhood is. Brotherhood is a soul-focused task that we are all going after together, that unites us together, that bonds us. It's not me dying for the person around me. It's me being willing to die with those people. And the problem is, in our modern dilemma, we don't have anything like that in our culture. We're not going off to war. We're not, you know, fighting an invader. We're not doing any of these sort of things. And so we kind of lose a perspective on what it means to be arm in arm with our brothers. And so... For me, personally, this is a no-brainer because I'm in the Orthodox Church. The Orthodox Church is full of brotherhood because we're all fighting the same spiritual battle. We're all trying to conquer this life in order to make it into the next life. All of us, as St. John Chrysostom says, are trading this life for the next life. Death and the willingness for death and to live on principles and to be devoted to Christ, and being willing to be martyred for Christ, all of these things are the ultimate. They give the ultimate shape and meaning to our life. But without Christ as the destination, men are lost. They have nowhere that they're going to. They're either fighting a temporary foe, or they're just trying to acquire stuff. And I would say that's the pitfall of American culture, is that most men are just consumed with purchasing stuff, getting a man cave or seeing who wins the sports ball game over the weekend or acquiring the boat or getting a vacation. It's just nothingness. And there's a certain shallowness to it that all men understand because as men, our hearts long for more. Our hearts long for meaning and purpose and eternity. We want something to fight for. We want something to go after. You see, in Protestantism, this brotherhood doesn't exist because there's nothing bonding the men together. I remember years ago, I was speaking with a friend of mine and he said, I am in obedience to the elders of my church. And I knew him. I said, brother, you're not. You're going to listen to them as long as you agree with them. And then when you disagree, you're going to leave. And Protestantism is so wrapped up with subjective theology that even the people within Protestantism cannot agree on what theology they agree on. It's all over the place. So there's no commonality. There's no focus. There's no church. There's no bonding together. In the Orthodox Church, we have this, this, this solid entity that we are part of, Christ Church. And we are united under the hierarchy of the bishops, we are united under the guidance of the priests. We are united in accountability. 
And all of this structure and form gives us the safety to be ourselves. You know, in my own parish, we have no problem with brotherhood. You know, all of the men go to the same priest, myself, for confession. So there's a unity, there's a harmony there. Men can open up about their problems with each other because they know they're not going to get judged, because they know their brothers in Christ are opening up about their problems as well. There's going to be structure in everything that we do, and the brothers know that there's a hierarchy within the church, and so that gives us as men a sense of safety, a sense of structure. You know, we desire these things naturally. This is how God created us. What do we do as a brotherhood? You know, we go take retreats. We do projects at the church. We pour concrete. You know, we, we, we fix the roof. We tear out the old kitchen and, and start the process of putting a new kitchen in. We do all these things together because men need time together. You know, men don't want to sit and look each other in the face and talk about our feelings. You know, that, that's, forgive me, but that's very feminine. Women want FaceTime. They want to connect. They want to talk to each other like this. Men don't want this. Men want shoulder time. Men want to be arm to arm, shoulder to shoulder, completing a task. In the process of completing that task, we may talk about very deep and personal things, but we want to be doing something. We want to put our hands to something. You know, all these pseudo-Christian organizations where the men get together and weep and they, and they hug each other and do all this sort of stuff. It's so effeminate. It's so effeminate. Real men don't want to act like that. Real men don't want to act like women. Real men want to be men. And in the process of being men, we're fine opening up about our shortcomings, our weaknesses, our struggles, our insecurities, our fears, all of those things because... We feel safe with the brothers around us. And that brotherhood, that brotherhood is so important for our lives as men. Yes, it's incredibly important to have a wife, to have a loving and nurturing relationship with her. But so much of the marriage and the family life, you're pouring into the people around you. And with a brotherhood, you're really pouring into each other in a very unique way. I encourage anyone who is struggling with this reality of just finding other men to connect with, go find the local Orthodox Church, find a good brotherhood, spend time, work on projects, go to confession, build a relationship with the priest. You'll realize that there's lots of men who are there to help you bear your burden in Christ unto eternity. God bless you.